You know, just when I thought that I had heard of all the instruments, I mean, mm -hmm. not all of them, but, you know, you sort of usually yeah. think you've heard of some. Sure. I hadn't heard of this one before, but it's kind of legendary on the U of R campus. It's it's called a, a carillon, I, I believe, if I'm saying that right. Uh, Doris Amen is a part of the uh, carillon faculty at U of R's Eastman Community Music School. And uh, she's up there in Rush Free's library. Thanks for going there this morning. And... It, that's it behind you, isn't it? You're sitting at the carillon, and I'm asking because I've never seen one before. Well, a lot of people have never seen the carillon before, so that's one reason we've invited you into the carillon cabin this morning. We've had many requests for people to come up and see the instrument, and because we're very, very high in Rush Free's <laughs> library, we're right up at the top of the roof. Um, it creates height issues for people to come visit, so we thought we'd come to you for a change. I love it. Thank you for doing that. Behind me is the instrument. Behind me is the instrument. Uh, this carillon is a keyboard instrument. As you said, there's only seven of them in New York State, and ours has 50 bells. As you're looking at it and trying to relate to it, if you know a piano keyboard, uh -huh. these are the white keys on a piano keyboard. These are the black keys on a piano keyboard. Okay. And middle C is here. So um, when we're thinking in terms of how do the bells relate to a piano, our, my actual C is down here. And this is middle C on a piano. So I'm playing the upper half of the piano. And that is why when we're listening to the Carolina, it sounds very tinkly. Uh, uh, there is possible to have a whole nother octave of bells below what we have here, but they take a great deal of space and they weigh a whole lot of tonnage. Oh. Our bells are s nearly 7,000 pounds oh of bells. Oh my gosh. So think of it as if at the top of Rushby's library, we have maybe two or three cars sitting up there. Uh, perched on top of the uh, the library in terms of weight. Whoa. Um, the carillon is like a machine. There's a lot of machine parts to it as you're looking at it. We have a transmission system. We have cranks that are attached to rods. Oh my gosh. And then we have rods that are attached to wires. These are adjusting turnbuckles so that every time I play, before a concert, you'll hear the bells going ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and that's me adjusting the turnbuckles in order to make a good ring. Some people think I'm tuning the bells. I'm not. They're permanently tuned. I'm adjusting the wires to get a minute connection uh, adjustment between the clapper on the inside of the bell. Okay. So that the I want the clapper, if this was the inside of my bell, uh -huh. I want the clapper to be about like that so that when I push down the baton, it just goes bing against the interior portion of the bell and drops back. That gives me a really nice ring. I am fascinated If I by had this. the clapper go up against the bell and just stay there, I would get a dunk, oh. and so if I hear a dunk, I have to adjust my wires. Okay. And I do it every day because it depends on the weather. Uh, really? The wires will get longer or shorter depending on what temperature is and how many people are standing in the room. Because oh I'm gosh. actually suspended from the ceiling, <gasps> hanging from the bottom of the bells. And so if you're thinking in terms of uh, you've got an instrument in front of you, I've got wires going vertically. The wires go up straight through the roof of Rush Rees, and then they're attached to a transmission system so that there's like a crank, and then the, the crank changes the direction of the wire to go to the clapper on the interior of the bell. So when I push down the baton, the crank goes down, <laughs> and that pushes the clapper against the bell. It sounds like so you're an engineer when I push down also. the baton, <laughs> I can feel the clapper underneath my finger. Well, so I can play a bell very, very loud, and I can play a very bell very, very soft. And you so are going I'll, I'll to play for that us to you. Here's coming a bell. up. Actually, we're going to take just a break. Throw it to commercial break because you're going to play There's a nice for quiet us bell. more. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll have that okay. performance and details on some free concerts coming up in just a moment. We're going to be back with Doris right after this.